Let's try a new method for long division. This one's called expanded notation. And I say new, it's not really new, but it's new to us maybe. And to help us out, we're going to also do the same work side by side using place set value sections because that gives us a little more of a visual. Expanded notations would sort of be like the next step away from that highly visual and that more abstract in your head style. Um, and they're both fine. So let's say we've got 1,917 and we need to group that into groups of 9, divide it by 9. Well, I'm going to start in my place value sections over here and I'm going to say to myself, can I get any thousands of groups of 9 out of that? Well, even 1,000 groups of 9 is 9,000, so um, that's totally not going to work. So let's think more in terms of hundreds of groups of 9. Now, how does that look in expanded notation over here? Well, over here, all I need to know is I'm not going to have a number in the thousands place then, because there are no thousands in my quotient. You don't have to put an x there. I put one there because I thought, eh, that might, uh, that might just help us to, to see it for now. And we won't need it later, that's for sure. So let's get back to our place value sections. Well, how many hundreds of groups of 9 can I pull from 1,917? Well, I know if I had 100 groups of 9, that would be 900. 200 groups of 9 would be 1,800, which is pretty close. Could I get 300 groups of 9? No, because that would be 2,700. Way too much. But I can definitely get 200 groups of 9, which means that I've grouped 1,800 out of my dividend, leaving me with 117 um, from the original dividend that I still need to put in groups of 9. I can totally do that. In expanded notation, I'm going to go through the same thinking. I'm going to say, okay, how many hundreds? Well, still 200 and I'm going to want to subtract that from the original dividend and see what's left to group. Now, I could still get groups of 9 out of 117. Let's head back to place value sections. How many groups of 9 out of 117? Well, if I'm doing 10s, well, 10 groups of 9 would be 90. And 20 groups of 9 would be 180. Well, I don't have 180, so no way, Jose. I need 10 groups of 9. 10 groups of 9 means that I've now taken care of 90 more from my dividend. And that leaves me with 27 left to group. In expanded notation, how would that look? Well, same. How many groups of 9 can I get out of 117? Um, in the tens place, I can get 10. And I've still just got 27 left. Oh, I'm going to run out of a little space here. There we go. Back to place value sections. Well, how many 9s are in 27? Hooray for math facts. That's 3. And that means I have grouped all of my original dividend into groups of 9. In expanded notation, same. How many 9's in 27? Well, at the 1's place, there are 3 9's in 27. And again, I'm good to go. Just like we did with place value sections, we take these partial dividends, 200, the 10, and the 3, and we add them together to find that our quotient is 213. That's all pretty cool. What would it look like if we strictly went to expanded notation and we didn't have any place value sections to help us out? So here, our dividend is 738 and our divisor is 6. We're going to make groups of 6 and we're going to use expanded notation method. So the first thing I'm going to think to myself is, you know, can I get any hundreds of groups of 6 out of this number? And I certainly can, because 100 groups of 6 would be 600. 200 groups of 6 would be 1,200 too much. 
but I can get 100 groups of 6, and that's all the hundreds of groups I can get. And it leaves me still with 138 to group. Well, now I'm going to say to myself, how many tens of groups of 6? Well, 10 groups of 6 would be 60. 20 groups of 6 would be 120. 30 groups of 6 would be 180, which is too much. I can get 20 groups of 6 out, which is 120. And that's going to leave me with just 18 from my original dividend, which is good because now I'm down to ones, which really means I'm down to math fact territory. How many sixes can I get out of 18? I can get three. So I have part the partial dividends, you could say, looking at those place values, and I need the total quotient, not partial dividends, partial quotient, sorry guys, partial quotients, I need the total quotient, 100 groups of 6 plus 20 groups of 6 plus 3 groups of 6 means that there are 123 groups of 6 in 738. If you feel a little bit shaky on this, don't worry because it's one of those things that as you practice it, it will start to make more sense. So give it a shot.